Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on flexible widgets and dashboard, a functionality from Social Bakers that allows you to analyze the performance of your content from every angle across all your social media platforms. The name says it all. These widgets are flexible, so you can be too, getting exactly what you need from your data in an instant. By choosing how you want to see your data, selecting your preferred platforms, profiles, labels, visualization breakdowns, and more, you can take control of the analysis and make smarter decisions based on the whole story. Using these widgets in conjunction with automated labels, you can get even more productive, getting the insights you need right away. Drop these widgets into a new dashboard, just like you're used to, to easily share insights with your team and create reports for key stakeholders at the click of a button. So let's dive into the tutorial, showing you all of the available options so you can make the most out of flexible widgets starting today. Let's start by analyzing the number of posts. We'd like to know just how many posts have been published in a certain date range. Click on the Add widget, then choose the number of posts widget. The first and most important step is to pick your data sources. It defines what posts you're going to analyze. You can pick profiles from one or more platforms to create a set of posts. You can also pick a profile label if you'd like to analyze one of your predefined group of profiles. It's really up to you. There's also a third option you can start with, post labels. This way, you specify the set of posts that have at least one of the selected post labels. Posts from all platforms and profiles are taken into account. It's the post label that really matters. In this case, let's focus on profile labels. Suppose you'd like to see how many posts have been published since the beginning of the year. To do so, choose from the date menu, as post metrics do change over time. If you'd like, you can change the aggregation to months, and in an instant, you'll see more relevant and easily readable information. Due to the flexible nature of the widget, you can change the aggregation anytime. Click the Specify button for date breakdown and select quarter, day, or month. If that's not exactly what you want to see, you can also further filter your analysis to see only posts from a specific category or label. Click Filter and search for the label you'd like to use. For example, Influencer Campaign Posts. In an instant, you can see the number of posts has changed due to your selected label. If you want to broaden your analysis even further, pick even more labels. Now you're analyzing the posts from two of your chosen labels. But that's not the only option here. You can also see the posts that fall under both of these categories. Simply switch the filtering option to match all of the selected post labels. Just click on the filtering option all in the drop-down menu. You can apply multiple filters at the same time and combine them. It's really up to you. Let's now add a filter and remove the posts that feature US targeted content. Just click the settings to none of, and this will exclude posts based on your select label. You can see the number of posts has changed again. The filter setup is pretty flexible, allowing you to combine post labels, platforms, and profiles together to get a set of posts that are crucial for your analysis. Select the plus button to choose one or more filtering options, this time the Facebook platform. Now that we've covered filters, let's move on to breakdowns. To learn about the benefit of breakdowns, let's start from scratch. We'll use the widget for interactions this time around. Let's pick owned profiles as the data source, then filter the post to analyze the ones with a label, perhaps for a campaign you've run. Choose your preferred label. In our case, it's going to be influencer campaign label. Let's choose the date range as this year, again, for the date range selector. In this case, we can see, for example, how the campaign performed in time. But let's take a closer look by breaking down the interactions of the post, not only by date, but also by platform. Add a second breakdown from the drop-down menu, choosing platform. Let's see what profiles were the most successful in a campaign, for example, and break down the data by profile. To do so, remove the second breakdown and change the first breakdown to profile to see the profiles that published posts under this label. Use the Specify button to remove the profiles you don't need to analyze this time around. Click Specify, search for a geotag, and pick the first three. If you prefer a different type of visualization, feel free to switch to the pie chart here. Flexible widgets are here to serve your analysis. You might find it interesting to see what other post labels are used in combination with this campaign's label. It's easy to switch your visualization and set up breakdown from profile to post label. You can clearly see what other labels have been used for the posts that also have your campaign label. Breakdowns play an important role in post performance analysis. When combined in a single dashboard, various breakdowns help you understand hidden data gems you weren't able to identify before. The flexibility of breakdowns allows you to ask new questions from your data. A side-by-side -side comparison of this data is what really makes these widgets an integral part of your analysis. Thanks for walking through this quick intro on flexible widgets with me. The best way to really see how these widgets can serve your analysis is to play around with them yourself, seeing the data change right before your eyes as you select different data sources and breakdowns. The first wave of widgets released is an exciting step forward in how you visualize and analyze your data, but we've got more coming. 
So look forward to widgets such as video views and average reach per post and more. We're also working to support Instagram stories and LinkedIn, Pinterest, and VK platforms. So stay tuned.